Hey guys, so I had so much fun the past couple weeks making videos about ABC's Speechless and tweeting the premiere last week that ABC asked me if I would want to do another video on this week's episode and they showed it to me early. And uh, one note, ABC, that I will give you is that the episode has some text under it that says, not for air. And I would remove that uh, before you hear it. Um, and then other than that, it, it's a really great show. And it still speaks to me in ways that are eerie. It's so like close to some of the experiences that I've had in my life. And this episode in particular reminded me of a couple things. Because, well, last week I talked about how wonderful my mom is. This week reminded me that even though you form this uh, really tight bond with your mother, there are just some things that your mom can't do. And in this week's episode, Maya uh, has to let go and hand the reins over to Kenneth, who is her son's new aide, and, and that, that bond is called into question. But, uh, like, you know, moms are great for a lot of things, Two things they're not great for are, one, uh, dressing their teenage sons. I know this because my mom still tries to dress me. I grew up in Buffalo, and uh, in Buffalo, it's not really about being stylish. It's about keeping warm and then keeping your pajamas on. So we wear uh, big, baggy, fleece sweatshirts and pajama pants at all times, which doesn't really help you know, the sex appeal. And for the first time in Speechless, JJ is is trying to find his inner stud. It's a girl shirt, man. It buttons on the wrong side. Yeah, but I'll know. We said we try, now we know. Yeah, I'm liking this. Getting the right wardrobe is is imperative. And uh, you know, I was a kid who, who wore a lot of sweatpants, and then when I got older, I wore uh, my grandpa's hand-me-downs. So I can relate to not having the greatest clothes sometimes. Um, but another thing that uh, JJ and I have in common is uh, when I was a teenager, uh, hormonally, things were running wild, and I didn't have the most game. And uh, so what JJ does is a lot smarter than what I did. JJ uses his, his uh, I call it the power of the wheelchair, to uh, become chairman of the cheerleading squad. This is JJ. Hi, JJ. JJ is interested in being our new cheer manager. And I don't think the fact that that's not a thing is any reason to say no. <laughs> What I did, because I was an inappropriate little teenager, is all the girls in my class were like, I bet you, you can't say one inappropriate thing for the entire day, and if you do, uh, if you say something inappropriate, you have to dress up and perform as the Spice Girls with your friends. And what they didn't know is I took that wager and I'm like, all I have to do to hang out with five girls is say something inappropriate and dress up like the Spice Girls and perform, and then they get to like make me up? I'm in! I blew that entire bet within like the first two minutes of the day. We got all this attention from all these girls because they were going to the mall with us, helping us pick out our dresses. And then they, <laughs> they made us up, and, and I used to, uh, practice with my friends after school. We would we would rehearse our songs. We would do the wanna be and two become one. And then one day uh, at eighth period, we had a concert where I was Baby Spice and my friend Andrew. I think he was posh. He was in a sparkly dress. He was a very chubby kid in a par sparkly dress. And somehow I thought this was gonna get us like prom dates and stuff. To this day. Dressing up like a Spice Girl uh, is the most game that I've ever had. Uh, and it's uh, worked better than any tactic I've ever tried to get female attention. 
So I wish that I had seen Speechless long before because then I, I would have just known, okay, maybe a better way is not to dress up like a woman, but to, to maybe be yourself. I really was not a cool kid. Even though my mom was supportive of me being a Spice Girl, I doubt she would have encouraged it at the get-go. I needed friends and my personal aid to do that and be like, oh, well, I'll help you get your makeup on. Because sometimes moms just aren't, aren't great for it. Although my mom probably would have been good at makeup. But uh, in a, any case, I was a great Spice Girl and Speechless is a great show. <laughs> um, be sure to check out the latest episode at 8.30, 7.30 30 Central this Wednesday. So how about in the comments, you guys let me know what your uh, worst fashion decisions were growing up, and also the dumbest things you did to get attention from uh, people that you were attracted to. Uh, did you dress, who did you dress up like? All right, thanks guys, bye.